Hi, it's Greg Harrell again, and I'm here to talk about Vim. And this is the last in my little mini series on regular expressions for now. And what I want to talk about is a plugin that I wrote called Loop. And I'll show you the web page. Um, it has a few things that it does uh, in a very kind of subtle backgroundy way that makes searching within a file easier. Um, so the first thing that it does is it makes the currently selected match easier to see. And I'll, sh I'll go back to my example again with a string because I know this string appears many times in this file. How does it make string easier to see? Well, you can see here as I step through it that it's trying to keep the line with the match in the middle of the screen. So that means your eye doesn't have to jump around. It's also making the currently selected match, the one under the cursor, way more obvious by using highlighting. And it's underlined all the others. So I can still see them quite clearly, but it's no longer difficult for me to see which one is highlighted, which is something that happened to me a lot before I started using loop. So the other thing that it does, and the reason why I most wanted to share it with you, is that it makes very magic the default. And I had previously shown you in an earlier segment that you can set up a mapping such that when you hit slash, you'll actually get slash backslash V. So you're in very magic mode by default. However, that doesn't always work. Um, one example of a place where it won't work is, for example, if you're in command mode, because you can only, you only really want to set this mapping up in normal mode or visual mode. So just say I get into command mode and I hit percent and S and then I hit slash. Normally, you're not going to get a backslash V there because you would have to set up a command mode mapping in order for that to work. But if you set up a command mode mapping, then later on when you get to the other part of the substitution where you want to put the slash to mark the beginning of the replacement pattern, then it would expand itself again and you'd wind up with backslash V there too, which you obviously don't want. So what loop does is it tries very hard to give you backslash V wherever you would want it. Um, and so it works in visual mode. Uh, oops. So you'll notice there that I had a range and it, I hit S and then I hit slash and it gave me the backslash V. Um, the reason why it knows how to do this is it effectively knows where the cursor is on the line and it knows whether or not it's the kind of place where backslash V should appear. So just to repeat that example, if I just put a slash there, that's not a valid substitution command. It's just got a range and there's no S. So that's why it didn't put backslash V there. But if I put the S there, then it works. Um, so this is gonna work in normal mode, in command mode. I can, for example, enter command mode like that. It gives me backslash V um, and obviously, just want to hit backslash V normally, and also hash, whoops, not hash, um, uh, question mark, sorry, which is to search in the opposite direction. Um, so that'll work in all the same ways. So I can select a bit of text and I can hit question mark, uh, or rather I can select a bit of text, whoops, I can select a bit of text, I can hit colon to go into command mode, then I can hit uh, S question mark, and it didn't work. That's a bug, god damn it. Oh well, back to the old drawing board. Um, <laughs> so what else can loop do? Um, it provides a shortcut to remove search, hi search highlighting. This is pretty common for people to have in their VimRCs. Um, in my case, uh, I'm gonna search for word case. The way I would remove the search highlighting is to hit leader N, N for no highlight. You could also type set no highlight, but that gets old, oops. That gets old, really? No HL search is the one I was looking for. That gets old real soon. So most people end up setting up a mapping for this. You may have one already, but if you don't, Loop will give you one. Um, and finally, it just turns on some sensible defaults, uh, which even right now I can't remember what they are. Yeah, increases the history, um, turns on ignore case and smart case, the things that I mentioned earlier. Um, gets rid of some annoying prompts about search hitting the bottom and continuing at the top. Um, you can suppress all of those being set up, but I just wanted to have it provide some reasonable defaults out of the box. Um, so that's loop. Uh, sorry for the bloopers, uh, and I'll follow up with a bug fix for that thing that didn't work like I thought it should. Thanks for listening.